going on, YouTube community? It's your boy, Wild Jim Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, the San Francisco 49ers will be going back to the AFC Championship game after defeating the Carolina Panthers 23-10. to This game, I thought was going to be crazy. I thought it was going to be epic for the simple fact that both defenses are pretty much great. You know, you have the dominant defense in the Carolina Panthers, and you have a dominant defense in the San Francisco 49ers. So I knew it was going to be a battle of the defenses, and that's pretty much how it was throughout the whole game. You know, the San Francisco 49ers, at the end of the day, they came up with bigger plays on the defensive side of things than the Carolina Panthers. Now, the Carolina Panthers, they just didn't have their best game as far as on defense, you know, that we have seen them play throughout the whole season. This team, for some reason, I guess because it's their first time in the playoffs, you know, in a, in a divisional game like that, I don't, it was, you know, they just wasn't there. The 49ers was just fresh off of a, coming from the Super Bowl. And then before that, the AFC Championship game. So this team has been there. They know what it takes. They're trying to get back to the Super Bowl and win. And I feel like, you know, between the two quarterbacks, Kaepernick and, and, and Newton, they are both are similar, you know. But I feel like Kaepernick is more accurate. He's fast. Newton is fast. I mean, strong, stronger than Kaepernick. But he can run also. And he's, a, he's accurate too. But I just feel like Kaepernick, he has the more better total package right now. Now, Cam Newton, he did his thing early on in the game. I thought this game was going to be kind of going towards Carolina side, you know, because they looked like they was rolling, you know. They was about to roll over the 49ers for a minute. But the team settled down, 49ers, they've been there. You know, Frank Gore, Vernon Davis, them, they all been there before. And Quan Bolden, who just won the Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens. So this team, veteran leadership, you know, and Harbaugh as their coach, who is just – that guy right now. This man is just great for this team as far as coaching this team. Think about it. This is the first time. This is this dude took him to the AFC Championship game. Then the Super Bowl. Now back to the AFC Championship game and possibly the Super Bowl again. It's amazing what this coach and these 49ers guys team is doing. They bought into this coach. They love him and they are playing well. They are playing very, very well. But um, sorry about that. I had to go check on my little son. But anyway, like I was saying, um, you know, 49ers defense stepped up big, you know, they 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 got at Cam Newton, they made him turn the ball over, and this was a rough start for Cam Newton, you know. This is his first playoff game. So you you already knew he was gonna be nervous, you know, he didn't know what to expect. And you then you're going up against a defense like the 49ers, and I already knew that they was not gonna be able to duplicate what they did against the 49ers in week 10, I believe, because they had everybody back. You know, Anquan Bolden, Michael Crabtree, Vernon Davis, you know, Frank Gore. Those guys were just, you could tell they were smelling blood and they just wanted to beat this team and move on. You know, um, rough start, like I said, for Colin Kaepernick. They only found the end zone one time. So, yeah, you already know that was that was pretty tough for, for, for um, Cam Newton. But, hey, at the end of the day, man, look what this team did. The Panthers, nobody probably expected this at all. So now if they can just focus and be even more hungrier for next season, They'll probably be they'll be back in the playoffs. They should this should be a team that should be in the playoffs each year now because they have the defense set. They have improved Cam Newton, you know, or are still growing Cam Newton. Get some more weapons probably because the receivers, they for real, honestly, they could not get off of the line except for Steve Smith. He was the only one. But the other receivers, really nowhere to be found, you know. Except Greg Austin, you know, them two guys, veteran guys. But need some more weapons around them. Need some more running backs. If D'Angelo Williams and Stewart, they're like done to me. You know, they're not the same running backs like, you know, previous years. But, um, yeah, man, 49ers, man, they're going to go up against the Seahawks. That should be a dandy. That should be a great, great game. Two great defenses going at each other. But I just honestly feel like, well, I'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, guys, let me read you some stats, man. And this team has been on the road. The 49ers, they're the hottest team in the playoffs right now. They've been on they've been on a roll. That's why I feel like this team can honestly get to the Super Bowl. But Colin Kaepernick, 15 to 28, 196 yards, one touchdown, sacked once. Cam Newton, 16 to 25, 267 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Sacked five times. So the defense was getting at him. He had some moments down the stretch where he should have threw the ball away, Cam Newton. And there was a couple plays. There's a play early in the game where I don't know if the coach called his play, but I think Cam Newton called his play for a quarterback sneak on fourth down. 49ers stopped that with ease on the goal line. Um, Frank Gore, 17 carries, 84 yards. That's my dude right there. He may not be the fastest or the loosest, most running back, but he has the strength, and, he, and he's just a great down running back. Um, Newton ran for 54 yards. Anquan Bowden. What can you say about Anquan Bowden? This guy, fresh off a of Super Bowl, then back to, you know, he done helped this team out a lot. You know, he, he's come up big in crucial moments 
um, with this San Francisco 49 team. His big, strong, may not be the fastest, but his experience and his strength and his just greatness is going to propel this team, I say. Eight receptions, 136 yards. Um, Ted Ginn Jr., four receptions, 104 yards. Um, and Smith, four receptions, one, 74 yards, one touchdown. So, guys, once again, the 49ers, they will be going to the AFC, NFC Championship game to face the Seattle Seahawks. And the final score of this game was 23-10. to 10. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Check out my previous videos. Tell me what you thought about the video. I mean, the game. Deuces. And remember, guys and girls, make sure you click the subscribe button, watch the previous videos, and like the videos.